Hello YouTube, Laz here, throwing another vlog up on the internet for you, just keeping you updated with what's been going on with me, and guess what, tonight I actually have a, sp a purpose of what I'm talking about. I'm not just going to ramble incoherently about a bunch of random things, no no, tonight's different. I actually have something particular I have to talk about, mostly because tonight is a very special night, and I think you know why. Do you know why tonight's so special? The special thing about tonight is that it is Oscar night. The Academy Awards tonight on ABC. Pretty big deal. And I'm really looking forward to this year. I'm not a I'm a I'm a big film fan, but there's sometimes I'm not a big Oscar person because most of the time the films that are nominated just either are ones I've never heard of or never had a chance to see. This year is a bit different though. There's a lot of wide release stuff out there that Definitely, you know, caught a lot of people's interest, and I'm going to be going through some of the top categories I'm looking forward to the most. Well, for one, I got to say, my gr big gripe this year is definitely with Best Original Song. I really think that something went wrong with the Academy this year as far as Best Original Song goes. I mean, only three of them, three songs to choose from, and two of which from the same film. I don't recall that happening that often, if at all, so... I'm not really looking forward to that. Plus, the one I was looking forward most to winning, Bruce Springsteen for The Wrestler, got snubbed out of a nomination. It won the Golden Globe, yet somehow it just didn't work. The Academy didn't like it for whatever reason. And there's a number of songs. I saw the original list of potential nominees. A lot of really great stuff on there. I mean, I'm going to excuse my personal love for the movie Repo the Genetic Opera. That, that also got snubbed, and I think it should have at least gotten some kind of consideration, but stuff from Repo, I think, should have gotten on there. I really would have loved to see a lot of stuff from the comedies also. Dracula's Lament from Forgetting Sarah Marshall is hilarious, but also pretty serious and like pretty interesting, pretty fun stuff. And also, what else was on that list that should have been on there, possibly? I mean, actually wasn't even on the list was Pineapple Express by Huey Lewis and the News, another one. Should have been at least eligible, but wasn't even eligible for the award, let alone not nominated. My biggest gripe is that the fact that Bruce got screwed out of it pretty much. There's another category I'm a big follower of, or have been at least this year, and that of course being Best Supporting Actor. Now this is pretty interesting because of some of the nominees on here. First off, you can't go without talking about Robert Downey Jr. as Kirk Lazarus in Tropic Thunder. A guy playing another guy playing another guy, and he plays all these roles. You believe him as the Australian actor Kirk Lazarus, that's playing the uh, soldier on a platoon. You believe it all. And I thought it was comedy genius the way he played this role. And I did not think anyone would have paid that much attention to it as far as award season goes. But he got the nomination for it. So more power to him. But I really don't even know if he should even bother showing up. Because most people can agree on the one man this is going to this year. A lot of people have been saying it. And it looks like pretty good odds that Heath Ledger will be taking the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. I really think he deserved it. It's such a great performance. I'm a huge fan of it. Dark Knight being one of my favorite movies, probably definitely in my top three list of all time. So it's good to see him getting some recognition. I do think Dark Knight got screwed out of some of the other categories, though. Definitely, at least for Best Original Screenplay, it should have gotten it. I know a lot of people are saying it wasn't really Best Picture quality or uh, Best uh, Male Actor quality, but you know what? That all aside, there's definitely some more creatively that it should have gotten that I think it was screwed out of. One thing I'm really looking forward to that I'm really pushing is the best actor category. That one, I, I'm i praying, praying that Mickey Rourke takes home. I'm a huge fan of the movie The Wrestler. Definitely one of the better ones I've seen in a long time. Such a great film, and I'm really praying that he wins this one because I thought it was really powerful. Plus, I'm not a big Sean Penn fan. What I like about The Wrestler is that it's just a down-on-his-luck guy. That, you know, he was at the top and his fall from grace and how he's trying to get back up. And also, I'm kind of biased because I'm a huge wrestling fan. So all those things aside, I'm definitely pulling for Mickey Vore for The Wrestler. Even though Bruce got screwed out of Best Song, I'm hoping Mickey doesn't get screwed out of the Best, uh, best Actor. But it's got a lot of decent potential this year. It's going to be a pretty entertaining show. Should be interesting. Hugh Jackman hosting it. Already? Are you kidding me? Come on, just a little bit. No. All right. Well, I guess I have to go right now. There. I. I know. I know. I hate when I do this too. But oh well, we gotta get through it. So this is Laz here signing off. Hope you enjoyed my little rant on the Oscars.